Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to read HTML tables from the internet in R. So let's first of all go straight to a web page. This web page is taken from Wikipedia and it shows the list of the highest grossing films in the US and Canada. And so if I scroll down in this page, we very quickly come to a table. This table contains 100 movies and these are a list of uh, the highest grossing films in the US and Canada, not adjusted for inflation. So you can see we've got the title, initial gross, adjusted gross, and so on, the year that they were released. So I'd like to be able to read this table in because uh, these tables in Wikipedia are updated on a regular basis. If I scroll down, we can see we can get to um, the 100, which is the last, we know that there's 100 movies listed in this table. And immediately after this table, there's a second table where the um, um, income is adjusted for ticket price inflation. So you can see Gone with the Wind there at number one. If you scroll down to the end, uh, we can see Star Wars Episode Two listed at the end. And there are other tables in this uh, page as well. So I want to be able to read, I'm gonna write some code to read those first two tables from the page. So the first thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need a copy of the web address. So in my Google Chrome, I'm selecting the web address, uh, doing a right click and selecting copy. And I'm now ready to switch over to R and write some code. Now, um, to do what we need to be able to do here today, reading, reading HTML tables from the internet, we need a package called RVEST, RVEST for short. So if you haven't already done so, install the packages using the install that packages RVEST uh, command. And, um, and then we add that, that's then added to our library and we run, load the RVEST package uh, using the library function. So I have done that already and I'm ready to go ahead. The first thing I'm going to do in here is put the web address in as a comment so that I don't lose it or don't copy over it. Okay, so that's the web address from Wikipedia. It's a long address, but uh, um, that, that shouldn't make any difference to us. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to reuse a function from the um, R, R vest package called read, hit, read underscore HTML to read the HTML from that web address. So I'm going to call, um, I'm going to store the result of this into a vector. I'm just going to call it film uh, URL. I can call that anything I like and assign it using read underscore HTML function, open and close brackets, and my open and closing inverted commas. And simply to, to, simple thing to do then is in between these two commas, paste in, in your web address. So we can see here now the uh, film URL vector is, is containing the uh, contents of HTML contents from that page. So I'm gonna run that function. Remember, we do need invert the commas around the web address. So, and also make sure you don't change it because sometimes lower and uppercase letters or incorrect symbols will give you a wrong reading. So I'll run that function there. And I'm gonna print out film URL just to show you what's in it. So I'll print this out, film URL. And you can see it just came, contains some metadata and it doesn't contain any tables, it doesn't contain any any data from the HTML tables on the page. It in effect is, is it is uh, telling us about the page, but not what's on the page. So when we uh, go over to the uh, global environment, we can see that the um, same information is being listed here for the film URL variable. So what I'm gonna to need to do then is I'm going to need to be able to uh, create um, a table based on what's being read from this web address. So to do that, I'm going to create another um, new variable. I'm going to call this. So first thing I'm going to do is take all the tables from the web page and assign it um, the um, film URL vector that I have just created, um, but with the read, .h, read underscore HTML function. Uh, and then I need to do something interesting. I'm going to need to use what's called a pipe symbol. And in R, uh, this is a symbol that will uh, effectively send information from one function to another. So the pipe symbol in R is drawn with the percentage sign, then the greater than sign, and then the percentage sign again. So this will differ from programming language to programming language. This is how we do it in R. And then I need to do um, a HTML underscore table function, open and close brackets. Uh, this function is also part of the RVEST library or the RVEST package. And in this, I need to just do one thing because the number of columns in my data is uneven. So I'm going to read this as fill equal to true. All right, so here I'm going to create a new vector called all tables, which will have all of the tables from my, my um, web address that I have just read in. So run that function there. 
and we can see then uh, in our uh, over on the right hand side we have in our all tables we have a lot of information listed here 175 um, elements so we're reading in a huge amount of information into R. I'll just widen my code back again so we're not quite there yet because this is what uh, contains all tables so I now want to create my first table so I'm going to create my first table which is the uh, list of movies um, uh, highest grossing movies of all time not adjusted for inflation so um, I'm going to call the first table, I'm just going to call it table one, and assign it um, all the all tables vector I just created. So th this contains all the tables, and in this then I need to indicate uh, that we want to read the first table. So I'm going to do that with double square brackets and the number one to indicate the first table. So that's the first uh, table one going to be created from our all tables fun um, vector. So run that, and table one, I go back to my global environment. Table one has been created again. It's uh, you can see here. It's 101 observations of six variables. So when I expand that out, we can see that we've got the rank, title, initial gross, lifetime gross, and so on. These are if I switch back to the web page here. These are the titles across the top of my table. So it looks as though I have read the information in successfully. So I'll switch back to R. And so if I want to, um, I'm going to widen my screen just for this bit here because the output's very wide. So I'm going to um, just display the head of table one. The first six lines, run that. And you can see there's my information uh, taken from the HTML table. So now I can I can start to do stuff. Do note, however, that all the figures are here uh, are listed with the dollar sign because, because the uh, gross income is in dollars. And also there are commas in this as well. So you won't be able to do any calculations with this number. Quite a bit of data cleansing will have to be done uh, once you have read this information in. So that's the head for table one. And then table two, the second table, which if I switch back to um, Wikipedia for a second, we can see we want to be able to read in the second table with Gone with the Wind and is the first movie in that table. So click back to R. So I'm going to use the same information again. This time I'm going to create table two and assign it again the all tables vector created earlier, uh, double square brackets, and this time the number two to indicate the second table and run that. And then uh, just to get a look at this, I'm going to take a head of table two run that function and we can see gone with the wind the second table is being read correctly in here with the rest of the data being read in as well so that allows us to um, enter um, html tables into our, our environment and if somebody then goes along and updates say the revenue amount uh, on the table and we run our code again we will get an updated table so that's how you create, um, read HTML tables from the internet. Uh, what you could do and try this out is um, also read, say for example, from a different web page. This uh, web page here is the baseball-reference.com page for the uh, San Francisco Giants. And in this page here, we can see that there are tables in here that we can read. So see if you can read the table for team batting and also see if you can read the table for team pitching. So they would be tables one and two respectively. Uh, the code and link to my code in my GitHub is in the comments box at the bottom of this video. Um, my code for this uh, video uh, includes code for reading this San Francisco Giants um, data. So that's how you read table from uh, HTML tables from the internet. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.